Hi everybody, this is Julian for Mercy. Like me, I'm sure you spend a lot of time in online meetings. So I thought, can I build an AI powered meeting companion that would run locally on my machine for full privacy in order to get real time insights about the meeting? So for example, a live summary so far, or good questions to ask, or chatting with a transcript to clarify something that was said. So I built it and I used the recently released RC foundation model running locally on my machine. So this is going to be fun. Let's go. So let me tell you how I got that ID. Like a lot of you, I use Zoom frequently for online meetings. And I got an email saying, hey, we we'll launched this thing called Zoom AI Companion. And they have a bunch of uh, AI features to increase your productivity during the meeting. Right. And I thought, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and before you're asking, no, I didn't get paid anything by Zoom to talk about this feature. It's just one of the things that I use. Uh, Zoom folks, if you want to send me a t-shirt, I'll take it though. Um, and so I started looking into it a little more. Um, I tested it and uh, you know, I, I felt it was pretty cool. But then I wondered, how's that thing working? Uh, where is that AI running? And I took a look at the security and privacy documents that Zoom provides and kudos to them. They're pretty extensive. Um, and looking at data flow and transmission to third parties, I found this really cool architecture graph that shows that, you know, this is me, the Zoom user and everything else is in the cloud. Okay, uh, and so there's this LLM service and this mysterious Zoom AI uh, and all of that runs in the cloud. So I'm assuming that's where those uh, companion features run, right? So I can ask questions about, let's say, the transcript. They go all the way to the Zoom cloud, to that LLM service, I suppose, and then I get an answer. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm pretty sure Zoom is taking all the right security measures, as they mentioned here, you know, encryption, et cetera, et cetera. But then again, I thought, can I do the same locally? Can I provide similar features for demo purposes? Obviously, I'm not claiming to build something that is as good and as production ready as what Zoom has built. Um, but can I demonstrate similar features? with a small language model running on my local machine. And of course, the benefits would be, you know, low latency, no need to go uh, to the cloud and more importantly, full privacy, right? Uh, maybe I'm asking, you know, sensitive questions about the transcript. Maybe I'm just uncomfortable with, uh, with my uh, prompts uh, and generally my data going to that LLM. Okay. So this is what I tried building and this is what I'm going to show you now. Okay. So what do we have here? Um, so let's look at those two windows on the right. So here I've got my app. It's a web app implemented with Gradio. It's running on my local machine, as you can see. And here I've got my uh, AFM 4.5 billion parameter model running locally on my Mac. Um, this is the 8-bit quantized version, and I'm using the preview model that we announced a couple of weeks ago. And I would expect that the final model would be even better at this. Okay, so we'll keep those open to see the, uh, the activity going on. So in the, in the web app, so here I've got uh, some, I would say, information that will help the app personalize the content for me. So who am I, who do I work for, what my goal for the meeting is, because not everybody would have exactly the same goal. If you're in the finance team, you're more interested about the finance uh, discussions. If you're in the, in the R and D team, you're more interested about tech, et cetera. So I thought, Hey, maybe the companion can use that information to, uh, to personalize the questions to ask or the, the summary, et cetera, et cetera. Here I'm using a real transcript from a real call that uh, we had with our Intel friends a couple of weeks ago. So real discussion, uh, real people, uh, and, uh, and I'm going to stream it in, in real time uh, to simulate 
um, a, a real-time transcription from a, from a real-time call. Okay, so here I've got personal information. You know, who am I? Who do I work for? What my goal for the meeting is, and the app will use that information to tailor the summary and the questions to ask and so on uh, to make sure you know I get what I want from the meeting. You know, I, so I'm not going to get just a vanilla summary or, or vanilla questions. I'm going to get uh, insights that should match my interests, and we'll see them uh, as we go. Uh, I can chat with the transcript as well uh, as we can see in real time. Okay, so let's just start the transcription. I'll speed it up a bit. Um, and we're going to start streaming the text. Okay, so assume you're in the meeting. Okay, uh, so we've got Julian, we've got Shannon, we've got Andrew, etc., etc. And, you know, we start talking and uh, the speech to text model starts transcribing. Okay. And um, and the most recent sentence is at the top, okay, to save me from <laughs> scrolling endlessly in that window. So every 60 seconds, we're going to get an updated live summary. And we can see we're running influence already down there. We'll take a look. And every 30 seconds, I'm going to get items to discuss, okay? So based on the transcript so far, um, you know, I'm prompting automatically the model to say, okay, you know, suggest things uh, that should be discussed to uh, to have a good meeting and, and help me reach my uh, my goal for the meeting. Okay, uh, so clarify the specific areas. Oh, there we go. Uh, clarify the specific areas where RCSLMs can be promoted on Intel platforms. And then somebody probably said something about AWS. Okay, and now I'm getting clarified the integration um, requirements for RCSLMs with Intel's AWS offerings, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And we can see, you know, it's all uh, it's all going and, uh, and you know, maybe I was distracted for a second and, uh, you know, sh I'm not sure who Shannon is. So who's Shannon? Okay, so uh, chatting with the transcript so far. Okay, I'm not cheating. I'm just using the part of the transcript. Uh, that uh, that is available to me. Uh, I can ask the model, and Shannon is a person who works at Intel and is involved with the ISV partner motion and global partners team. Okay, awesome. That's what I wanted. Okay. And uh, do we have more people here? Oh, yeah, we've got Cole. Hi, Cole, if you're watching this. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I was distracted again. What does Cole do? Okay, so he's working with the cloud service providers. He's based in Washington, D.C. Interesting. And maybe I want to know, he's in the same team as Shannon? Yes, he does. Okay, great. So you can see how simply uh, and how quickly and how privately uh, we, can, uh, we can chat with that transcript. Okay, and you know, we see the model inferencing here. Maybe it's a little small, but it says 57, 58 tokens per second, which is very, very good. And prompt processing is uh, it's pretty fast, almost a thousand tokens per second. So even if we have a long context, a long meeting, we're gonna be able to factor everything in. Okay, and we see open points are piling up. And as the meeting goes, you know, they get, uh, they get more and more uh, specific, right? Clarify the SLM that Intel is interested in promoting and how they align with Intel's strategy for AI on CPUs and Gaudi systems, okay? Because probably somebody said something about Gaudi, right? Um, so um, maybe we could ask that question here. So who's the best person for those Intel Gaudi discussions? Okay, so I should talk to Cole, right? He's focused on optimizing and going to market with RC on the Intel offerings. 
Okay, great. Okay, so the meeting goes on and we're seeing, you know, the live summary being updated. Um, I could check that this summary so far is in line with uh, my goal for the meeting, right? So uh, if I was specifically interested in, I don't know, uh, how do I get, uh, you know, uh, how do I get Intel marketing to promote um my products or my events, you know, I could look at the summary so far and say, mm -mm, you know, we, we haven't, we haven't chatted about this at all. So you could actually flag that in the summary and say, wait, 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 you know, this meeting is not going the right way. Uh, it's a, it's an interesting meeting, but we're, you're not getting what you want out of it. Okay. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll pause the video. I'll wait until the end of the transcription because I have a few more features to show you. So the meeting is over. We could generate action points. We could maybe even write a follow-up email directly here. So from me to call about cloud service providers. And we would use right now the full transcript and click on the button and send that follow-up email. Right? Yeah. This looks good. Perfect. I could use that directly, right? Copy, paste, send it, etc. Uh, we could generate action points. I mean, there are lots of features we could add. And, uh, and you know, as you can see here, I mean, the model is running fast enough. There's definitely room for more. Um, I'm only using uh, eight cores on uh, on the Mac. So uh, there's definitely room for uh, for more inference and more features. Okay, well, that's uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, again, I think uh, privacy, security, compliance, and all that good stuff is super important for enterprise users. And, um, you know, I would definitely prefer to run as much as I can uh, on my local machine and, uh, and keep all my data private. So just a small demo. Zoom, if you're watching this, let's talk. And yes, I'll take that t-shirt. Thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, keep rocking.